Yay. You, you know what you you know what you call a beautiful woman on a banjo player's arm? No, what, Scott? Tattoo. Picking on the banjo player. You know how you get a banjo player to get off your porch? You just pay him for the pizza. <laughs> you didn't always used to be a banjo player, did no, you? No, I get a lot of flack for being a banjo player, but you know, I wasn't always a banjo player. I used to be in classical ballet. <laughs> but I had to quit because of a medical issue. I, I pulled a groin muscle. It wasn't mine. Anyway, we're, we're delighted to be here. I mean, we don't always get to do this. I mean, it's a special night when we're all out of jail at the same time. <laughs> we're going to take you on a walk down memory lane here with an old Martin Robbins tune. <laughs> to the town of all the free road, a stranger one fine day. Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. No one dared ask his business, no one dared to make a slip. For the stranger there among them had a big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. It was early in the morning when he rode into the town. He came riding from the south side, slowly looking all around. He's an outlaw loose and running, came a whisper from each lip. And he's here to do some business with the big iron on his head. Big iron on his head. In that town there lived an outlaw by the name of Texas Red. Many men had tried to take him and that many men were dead. He was vicious and a killer, though a youth of 24. And the Nazis on his pistol numbered one in nineteen more. One in nineteen more. Now the stranger started talking, made it plain to folks around. Was an Arizona Ranger, wouldn't be too long in town. He came here to take an outlaw back to life or maybe dead. And he said it didn't matter, he was after Texas Red. Texas Red. Wasn't long before the story was relayed to Texas Red. But the outlaw didn't worry, men that tried before were dead. Twenty men had tried to take him, twenty men had made a slip. Twenty-one would be the ranger with the big iron on his head. Big iron on his head. Quickly, it was time for them to meet. It was twenty past eleven when they walked out in the street. Folks were watching from the windows, everybody held their breath. They knew the handsome ranger was about to meet his death. About to meet his death. There was forty feet between them when they stopped to make their play. And the swiftness of the ranger is still talked about today. Texas red had not clear leather for a bullet fairly ripped. And the ranger's aim was deadly with a big iron on his heel. Big iron on his heel. It was over in a moment and the folks had gathered round. There before them lay the body of the outlaw on the ground. Oh, he might have went on living, but he made one fatal slip when he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his head. Big iron on his head. Try 
ride the master ranger with the big iron on his hip.